Hey family, today I want to talk about destiny and when things were just meant to be. Okay, this is a story time um, about me moving from one state to the next state without really having a plan. I, well, I had a plan, but it wasn't like in concrete. I just followed my heart. Okay, so I was living in Atlanta. Me and my ex were splitting up. Okay, we were together off and on for a long time okay so we finally decided okay you know we got to go our separate ways all right we went our separate ways so what happened was once we once we made that agreement together and it was peaceful uh, I think it was in February we talked about this was it February it was February we talked about this okay by so what happened was my cousin called me in March my cousin called me in March and said, hey, man, I live in, I was in Atlanta. He said, I live in California. I haven't heard from him. Now, I heard from my cousin in years. All of a sudden, he just pops up. He said, hey, man, I live in California. You should come out here and check me out. I said, okay, I'm in San Diego. I said, all right, I'll, I'll come check you out. Income tax, income tax check came. I booked the ticket, went out there to see him. When I went out, to, when I went out there to see him, okay, uh, he was at one time living in a boat. He had a boat he was living in, but he moved into an apartment with him and his uh, fiance. So when he took me on the boat, and you know how certain things click, okay? When he took me on this boat, and we was going from different, was going from uh, different uh, ports, and we, when he, when we sailed out, he let me sail the boat, drive the boat, sail the boat. We went from one island to the next island. I was seeing the seagulls. I was seeing the seals come out the water. I was seeing the uh, fish clear, looking straight through the, the it was a clear uh, uh, ocean. It brought me to California, okay? That experience of, because, because I deal with the element of water anyway, that sold me. It said, okay, I have to be here. I just knew it. I just It's a certain thing that you feel it in your soul. You feel it in your gut where it's like something is, things are coordinated in such a way where it's telling me I'm supposed to be here. Talked to his friend. He said, what do you do? I said, I'm an artist. I do other things. His friend wanted me to uh, start making tarot cards. Now, mind you, I wasn't dealing with tarot cards, but his friend said, his friend owned a store. And he said, I want you to make up some designs of tarot cards for me and my partner. Okay. Met his partner, went to their shop. They had like a, me a metaphysical store in San Diego. Lemon, uh, I think it's called Lemon Grove, right? Went there, made these, start making these tarot cards. So that, that basically, it, what it did was it tied in my artistic ability with my spirituality. And it basically start baking it's like it's like putting something in the oven okay so when that happened i said wow went to mexico went to Tijuana, different places in mexico tijuana rosarita beach i was like man i'm sold this is it i said i'm moving here i told him i'm moving here so he he was like okay fine cool I, whatever you need from me i'll help you so basically once i went back i told her i said look it's time for me to go i said i'm moving i'm going to california so once I said it, everything start, everything start lining up. I mean, the apartment, everything. I went online, got, uh, I think I went with Westside Rentals or something like that to get a place. A friend of mine, she had a person, she was a realtor. She had apartments here and she had apartments in Long Beach and in LA too. But I didn't work out with her. I, something about her I didn't feel good about, so... I went with West, I think it was West Side Rent. I forget the name of it. It's been a, a while ago. So once I made uh, arrangements to talk to the, the, the rental place, they checked my credit and everything like that. They said, okay, you're you're eligible for an, a, a place. Everything looks good. Um, they got my background check. Everything got together. Actually, I got the place before I even got to L.A. I got my place ahead of time. Okay, they just needed paperwork and everything like that. So I had a friend of mine uh, 
fax them the paperwork and everything my back everything was everything just lined up i can't i can't explain it but it lined up so much where it was like effortless okay so what happened is when i got there when i got to the rental place the guy was like okay you have five places to choose from it's up to you which one you want to choose from which you want to spend so i ran around i didn't have no car i took the bus um i had my portfolio I had things with me i took this the, the things that i moved with i took everything and put it in the locker i really pretty much came with i, I eliminated everything that i came all my attachments okay so when i got to la i took things i put it in the locker in the airport so from there i got on the bus then i went to the rental place okay got to the rental place he gave me the cer certain keys to certain apartments I ran around to like maybe about 4.30. I was tired. I, the last place when I walked in, it felt like home. So I just, I said, this is it. Got the place. It was like a, a studio apartment. Okay. Paid him first and last month rent. Left me with $85 to my name. Okay. Didn't have a job. Didn't know where I was going. I just knew that my grandfather taught me that. When you have a home, a place to rest your head, then you can uh, plan your life because you because you have peace of mind. So once I got the place, then I said, okay, now I'm, how am I going to make money? I didn't have a job. I didn't have anything. So I was, I was basically like, honestly didn't know. So my spirit was like, now before, mind you, before this happened, I had a vision that I was in Santa Monica on a pier. So, so I said, okay. I heard of Santa Monica because they told me about Santa Monica. So, so Spirit said, go to Santa Monica. So I went to Santa Monica. It said, take your sketch pad with you. I went to Santa Monica. I took my sketch pad. When I took my sketch pad, I was walking around the, not quite the period. I forget the name of it. Uh, the promenade. So I walked around the promenade and I had my sketch pad with me. It was two girls, white and a black girl. Okay. And they said, hey, you do sketches? I said, sure. They said, okay, sketch us now. They sat down. I sketched them. I bam, immediately. Okay. Money started lining up immediately. So then I walked down to the pier. When I walked down to the pier, I said, oh, this is the place where I had the vision. This is, I'm meant to, this is meant to be. I actually seen a vision, and I actually ended up in this same location. So the next, so, so from there, I went down to, I walked down to Venice Beach. When I walked down to Venice Beach, um, I walked down to Venice Beach and the guy, when I walked down there, this guy was doing some, um, this guy was, was doing some artwork where he was using a spray can. When he was using a spray can, I was fascinated. I had a sketch pad in my hand. I was sitting on the bench. These these people just walked up to me. They said, are you doing sketches? I said, yeah. They said, okay, we want you to sketch us. So I started sketching them. I think I sketched like four people. So I'm like, damn, okay. So the guy named Caesar, he said, I want you to come. He said, won't you come tomorrow and set up next to me? He said, I want you to come tomorrow and set up next to me. So I said, okay. So he said, go get, your, go get the permit uh, downtown LA. Go get your permit to sell for donations whatever how they got it set up right so i went so i said okay so i didn't know where i was going so what i did was from my apartment i went spirit said go to this corner wait for the bus this bus will take you where you need to go i went to the corner this is before internet this is before all the stuff we had i went to the corner got on the bus i got on the bus the person this this this, this brother was on the bus this brother was on the bus. Anyway, this brother was on the bus and he was saying, he said, hey, he was reading a book that I already read. OK, I forget the name of this book, but it had like Egyptian person on there. I think Fatah. And he was saying, um, why don't you? Uh, so I said, I said, hey, I got that book. I said, that's a that's a deep book. He said, yeah, he says. He said, know thyself. He said, it's all about knowing thyself. I said, absolutely. And then, then he was like, where are you heading? I said, well, I'm looking for a place, you know, as far as permits where I can, you know, display my artwork, stuff like that. 
He said, matter of fact, this is exactly where I'm going right now. Just follow me. Followed him. He took me to the, the office. I went in there, got my permit. Everything was just lining up. It was perfect symmetry. I'm telling you, when you're supposed to be to a place, things will just line up. You just got to have faith and let go and get out the way. And the spirit will talk to you and lead you to these locations. Now, got the permit. The next day I went to Venice Beach. Now, where the guy told me to set up, uh, I don't think he was there, but what happened was it was it was an Asian guy. He was he was he had a broom and he was sweeping his space, and he said, "Hey, come on." He said he said this is your space, and I said, "Huh?" He said, "This is your space. We've been waiting for you," and I'm said I said, "Okay." He said, "So set up right here." So I took out my things, uh, my portfolio, all my artwork, and I started setting up my artwork. And so he came back. He said, are you okay? We come back to check up on you. It was two Asian guys. He said, this is your space. This is where you belong. I said, okay. Never seen him again the rest of my life. Never seen him in Venice Beach the rest of my life. I was there. I was there for a while. I never seen him again. These were angels. And this is what I'm telling you. When things are meant to be angels, uh, people, places, things, everything will coordinate themselves and conspire to work on your behalf when things are just meant to be. After that point, I start, the, the, the guy Caesar, I think he came back the next day and he was like, he set up next to me and he was like, look, CJ, this is your location. This is your space. I want you to set up to me every day because we have a perfect chemistry. Everything will work out from there. That was it. I was sold. Everything lined up after that. It, I mean, I can talk about all the miracles that took place when I was in L.A. And how I wasn't on drugs. I wasn't. I didn't sell my soul. I didn't do all these things. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't on drugs. Um, I was just in sync with my spirit. And I'm telling you, people, it was. you would think I was there 10 years. I just arrived, but it, they treated me like I was a veteran or something. It, they treated me like I've been there for years. Okay. I can go on and on how things will start to unravel, how certain celebrities will come up to me and give me messages while I'm on Venice Beach. Um, it was so many things lining up, but I am just wanted to tell you this quick story. It's deeper than this, but this is just to show you when you follow your heart, Okay, and when things are meant to be, things will line up in such a way where it's undeniable that you are at the right place, the right time, engaging in the right activity, the angels are with you, everything is conspiring to work on your behalf, the universe are sending environments to assist you. Okay, so this, is, this was my destiny, and from that, of course, I start doing my readings with my sketches and different things like that. Everything just start lining up in such a way that it was undeniable that the creator is everywhere to assist you at all times. You just have to get out your way. Destiny, when things are just meant to be. I have to give you another story time about other things that took place and how... Um, People would just come to me and give me messages, even to the point where people will come to me. Let's say I needed money. People will come to me. Spirit say, go to this certain corner or go to a certain location. And people will come to me and just put money in my hand and walk away. I'm telling you, this is a magical life, man, once you get out the way. Everything will assist you because this is your movie that you are co-directing. All right, family, love y'all. Love and light. Peace.